The new 17th hole, yeah, I think it will provide a focal point for the Open. 17th hole, penultimate hole of the Open. Well, things can happen there, and with this particular hole, a lot of things can happen. Uh, there can be, well, who knows, maybe there's a, there's a one in the cards, but certainly there's, there's plenty of twos. With the danger of such a short hole, there's also plenty of capacity for big scores and very big scores. My name is Martin Ebert. I work for Mackenzie and Ebert and we redesigned the 17th hole at Royal Liverpool. So in terms of our first input at Hoylake, um, that was in 2015. But at that stage, the, the 17th wasn't an idea. And it certainly wasn't an idea of ours. I have to give credit to the club and the RNA for coming to us and saying, we would like to reverse the direction, pretty much reverse the direction um, of the old hole, which was the 15th in the, in the open, and reverse it so that the green sits up on the, up on the horizon line in the dunes, um, and that the tees uh, are yeah, completely in the opposite position. And that was really, I think, yeah, generated by turning it into the 17th hole rather than the 15th, um, but also um, to create that bit of drama at the end of the Open, creating a hole that would really capture the attention um, and produce you know, some, uh, some different outcomes. So in terms of the design process, this was a drone photo that we took um, before we, we started work. Uh, then, to give people an idea of what was being proposed, we produced the visualization. Um, so here you can see on the existing shot the, the old hole. Uh, we had there were the, there were the tees of the old the old hole. This was this was the green, and we kept the green in in this visual for two reasons. One, we thought that they might play might be played as a winter hole, uh, but secondly, it just gives a bit of point of reference as well. Um, on the photo of the uh, the original situation you can see the landscape through here some of the craters that we developed into the sand areas the level of the green was was very similar to these tees um, for the old hole so that gave us everybody a good reference point and here we've got the 15th as well that's allowed the 15th to be to be pushed back significantly uh, to create a much tougher par five so these images that's what was presented to the club and the committee, and ultimately they then went to the to the members so that they could uh, provide their um, approval as well. When it came to the length of the hole, it, the brief from the club and the RNA was very much we want a short, short hole. It's incredible to think that the hole will only play just you know 135 yards, 100 around that sort of figure. Such a short hole, we all know you know, how good some of the great short holes are and, and how short they are. Um, Royal True and the postage stamp comes to mind. You can draw, you know, perhaps comparisons in a very different way to Sawgrass. It wouldn't be right to be playing to that island green from 180 yards, but, um, you know, from a shorter length, it, it's, it, it creates great drama and great spectacle. The tees are very low. They're very, very low level. They were hardly built up at all. Um, the whole idea was to create a, a horizon line green. You have the de-estuary in the, in the background, uh, which the golfers won't see until they're on the green, um, but it really does produce that, that horizon line uh, uh, green surface. That'll put a little bit of doubt into the players' minds. Um, the fact that um, yeah, they, their depth perception or their length perception will be a bit tricky to get right. For a hole of this nature, you probably want something where it's not welcoming you in to hit, hit to, you know, close to the flag. So there, as I say, there'll, there'll be that element of doubt until you've hit the shot for one and then you're up at the green just to see how close it is. So I think it, it adds to the character. So there's an aerial shot just showing the, um, you know, the finished hole, but it's, yeah, it's a fascinating sort of network of pathways um, through the, through those, uh, those sand areas. You can see the, the bunker really eating up into the front of the green. Anything, there's the front of the green surface is about here, so anything just landing on the very front edge or just short is gonna be going back into that, uh, that, that pit. The slope off the right hand side of the green is, is so, so dramatic uh, that anybody just toppling off there will end up in the bunker. It'll collect even from, you know, the whole catchment is quite significant to that bunker. And then to, to get up to the green surface once you're in it is, is gonna be the real test. This bunker is slightly less um, demanding and less 
you know, the, the players right up against the face and, and his, you know, for a right-handed player, that would make things extremely awkward. Um, and then around the back of the green, you can see just how, what a natural landscape that is. So, um, you know, your lie there could be absolutely anything. It's a tiny hole, um, but the green's pretty small as well. Uh, the average size of the greens at Hoy Lake is 600 square meters, 6,500 square feet. And this green will be 350 square meters, so almost half of that size. If the players miss the green, um, that's where the fun will start. But uh, I'm sure plenty, of, plenty will hit the green, uh, but there's lots of danger all around. Our game is all a matter of judgment, I suppose, and making sure that, that what we deliver has you know, the right level of challenge associated with it. And it's so easy to go overboard with that. It's so easy to undercook it as well. But I feel confident that we've got it right in terms of the, you know, the angle of the green, the size of the green, the shapes on it. Um, you know, the danger, it most certainly exists around the green, but you know, that has been borne out with, with some good players playing the hole already. It will be, yeah, really will be interesting to see how the world's best do take it on.